Oxycontin was as worse as any illness or as any pain that I had ever been through. It was treating hell with hell. Um, that, that was my lowest point. I'm looking at some pictures here and they jog in my memory. Uh, during the Oxycontin time of my life, I spent most of it passed out. There's two years I don't remember. Um, passed out on the toilet because pain medications do things to you in that aspect. Um, my husband made a bone to put on my head to keep me from scraping my head where I picked a, a hole in my head. Um, during this time, I was alone in the bed. I couldn't stand anybody to touch me, but I had given up hope. Um, and this picture here is one of the, the rare few ones that my husband sat down on my bed with me. Um, and he could touch me and I didn't scream. And of course, as the pain continued to increase, so did the patches. And at the time that I started reducing and to quit the patches, I was at 150 micrograms every two days. Um, this is what led me to Therapy South, is stopping the fentanyl patches, something that could give me hope that the pain would stop also, or at least be tolerable without the patches. Um, 150 micrograms every two days is extremely high. Typically it's every 72 hours and that's where I ran into the problems trying to stretch it out the third day. Um, I would have muscle spasms, I wouldn't sleep or whatever, but I could come in here and whoever was my therapist that day was so in tune to me that I didn't get any sleep or that I was having muscle spasms, that they worked on specifics. It wasn't just like my low back or my upper back. It was whatever I needed. And that's the difference of this place and other physical therapies that I've been to. Um, so when Mary first came to see me in November 2018, um, she was in so much pain she could not even sit when we did the evaluation. She stood and paced around in the room. Um, she told me at that time that she was not going to the store for herself. Um, she was not sleeping very much at night, and um, she was just struggling with many of her uh, ADLs. When I came here, it was the, the, the encouragement that I received from everyone. But everybody always makes sure that they put hands on me. And by that I mean they either massage a point or they check the pain level in a point. They take the time to make me feel like I'm more than just somebody walking in the door for a machine, that I'm a human being. And that hands-on, that touch is so important. That warmth of their hand shows me they care. Also what happens is I've been coming three days a week and I, be I feel like that this is a place I belong. I can see my improvement. 
Katie once told me, she said, I only had a video of you walking in the door the first time. The way you look now, Mary, is just altogether different. And I feel, and I feel like they need me here too. You know, I just, it, I know they don't, but they do. You know, it's like, if I just can get one person to smile in here. But the therapy is the way to cope with the pain without the medications. And it works. So when we first started, Mary was on uh, 75 microgram uh, fentanyl patches every three days. Two so days. Every two days. Um, and we, she is now not using the fentanyl patch at all. Um, she is sleeping much better, um, getting sleep many nights of the week. She still has some nights when um, she has more trouble, uh, but overall she's sleeping much better. Um, she's able to go to the store and, and do her own shopping now. Um, She's painting again, which is a big thing for her. Mary's an artist and she's very happy that she's being able to, to paint and do some of her artistic things. Um, you know, we just try to listen to her every day when she comes in and, and no two days are alike. We're, we're much more aggressive on some days. We're much less aggressive on other days, um, just depending on what's going on with her. But, um, but it's all about Mary and, and what's going on with Mary and how we can help her feel better uh, each day that she's here. I feel like I'm special. I feel like I'm just one of the people that they treat the way they treat us. You know, I've told everybody that I can get to listen, this is the place to go.